So what is the secret answer to how many sets? Well, Hey guys, Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic. Today, I'm going to talk about how many sets you need to do to build muscle. Alright guys, when I first decided to uh, talk about this subject, I was kind of lamenting with my cameraman that it, I don't know that there's that much information. I, I, I was thinking it might be like a two minute <laughs> video. I started taking notes and I put all these notes down and kind of organized my thoughts and I realized, oh my gosh, this, this is going to take a lot longer than two or three minutes. There's actually a lot involved here. So there's several different things that I want you guys to consider when it comes to figuring out how many sets you need to do to build muscle, especially if you're kind of creating your own workout program, guys, if you're not following one of mine or Gary's programs. Um, so first of all, fitness level. You know, are you a beginner, are you intermediate, or are you an advanced? That's one thing you need to consider. Another thing is, we're talking about resistance training right now. We're not talking about doing cardio or high intensity interval training. I'm talking about resistance, you know, lifting weights, uh, uh, pushing bands, doing cables, whatever it is. And then you gotta decide whether it's, whether you're doing circuit training or whether you're doing anabolic style training, all right? Two different, two different concepts to take in mind when you're trying to determine how many sets you're gonna be doing. Another thing is, when, when trying to figure out how many sets, how many reps, <laughs> all right? So those two things are correlated, all right? So, and another thing is what types of sets are you doing? So are you doing just a conventional set where you do eight to 12 reps, you stop, you rest for a minute, minute and a half, do it again, or are you doing these complex types of sets, drop sets, rest pause sets, super sets, all right? You do those, you're not gonna be able to do nearly as many sets, all right? You shouldn't, you'll just overwork your body. And then finally, another big important thing to consider when determining how many sets, what muscle group are you working, all right? Are we hitting my bicep only? Are we working legs, huge amount of big muscles? All those variables impact how many sets you need to do. All right, so let's start with the very first thing I, I discussed, and that is your, your level of fitness, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, all right? So if you're a beginner, all right, and I don't wanna have to define that term, everybody's gonna define it slightly different, but if you're a beginner, I typically recommend you shoot for four to six sets per muscle, all right? So, and it depends on the muscle, remember? So if you're doing biceps, okay, and that's a small little muscle group, and you're a beginner, you may not want to do more than about four sets, all right? Otherwise, you might overtax them, you might hurt your tendons or ligaments, all right? And you might just get so sore that you never want to do them again, all right? But you could probably do six sets, and it also depends on how hard you're pushing yourself. Now, if you're an intermediate, all right, workout guy, fitness level, I would say most of the time, you should probably be doing eight to 10 sets per muscle group. Once again, depends on the muscle, right? And then finally, advanced guys out there who've been working out for years, your body's really in shape, um, uh, you know what you're doing. Guys, you know, I do between eight and 16 sets per muscle group. And once again, it depends on the muscle group I'm working and how I'm working though. So if I'm doing legs, all right, I'm gonna need to do more sets than if I'm just doing my triceps. But once again, it depends on the number of reps. So sometimes I'm doing legs and I'm doing high rep, maybe 20, 25 reps of a weight. Well, that's just absolute killer. So I can't do as many sets when I'm doing each set that hard. All right, let's go back to another topic that I mentioned originally that kind of affects how many sets, and that is whether we're doing circuit style training or anabolic style. So what's the difference? So when you're doing circuit style training, remember guys, you're jumping from one exercise to the next to the next with no rest, and typically you're, you're changing muscle groups. So you might do a chest exercise, do, do you know eight to 10 reps, and then immediately go in and do a squat for eight to 10 reps, and then after that you might stand back up and do 
eight to ten reps of curls and then eight to ten of a back you know with very little rest okay and then at the end of that circuit let's say your circuit consists of eight different exercises you're gonna be exhausted okay right but you've hit eight different muscle groups so at the end of the circuit, you stop and rest. Now, you might rest for a minute and a half, two minutes, all right, maybe even three minutes, just depending on how fatigued you are, before you start the circuit again, all right? So when you're doing circuit style, guys, it's different. That is, does build muscle, okay, but it's not as effective as doing it the next way I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe. But circuit style training is actually more effective for losing fat. All right, it really gets your heart rate up, guys. It helps with your metabolic rate. It pushes it way up, all right? And then after the workout's over, because you did it in a circuit style, your, your metabolic rate's gonna be higher, and it'll stay higher for several hours, which means you're gonna be burning more calories post-workout than if you had done it a more traditional anabolic way, which, which I'm gonna cover in just a second. So guys, when you're doing circuit style training, you're hitting so many muscles with so little rest, all right? That's what I, you know, I wouldn't advise trying to do 16 circuits, okay? Keep it a little lower, and that's how I designed Fit After 50. So the very first phase in Fit After 50 is all circuit style. And you'll notice that I keep the number of sets, or in this case, circuits, relatively low, all right? Now, I'm gonna talk about something else in just a second. Now, that's the anabolic style, but I need you to define that for you. All right, so what is anabolic style? What, what does that even mean? Well, anabolic just means muscle building, okay, or muscle growth. Um, and so, as we progress through Fit After 50, I, 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 I transition from fat loss slowly but surely into muscle building, all right? And there's several reasons for that that I'm not gonna get into right now, but if you are doing a workout just designed to just build muscle, all right? I'm gonna have you do more sets, and that's because you're not working your entire body like you were in a circuit style, all right? So you have more rest. You take a rest after every single set, whereas when you're doing circuit style, you don't rest after every set. You rest at, at the end of each circuit. Completely different concept, guys. So if you're doing anabolic style, which is the way I typically do my workouts, all right? I'm really trying to build muscle, all right? Um, I rest after each set, and because of that, and because I'm advanced, I can do a lot of sets, okay? Even on small muscle groups like biceps and triceps nowadays, I've built up the endurance level such that I have to do, I need to do more sets to force my muscles into a situation where they just aren't used to, all right? And when they, when they get to that point, they actually do, the muscle fibers break down, and then when they, they regrow over the next two to three days when you sleep and you feed your body with protein. So guys, anabolic style means we're resting after each set and because of that, you can do more sets, all right? And once again, beginner, intermediate, advanced, it all kind of depends, but guys, that is one way you can tweak your, your workouts, all right? Another one of the big issues that I've mentioned right up front was, you know, how many reps or what types of sets are you doing? Are you doing drop sets, super sets? Are you doing high rep counts? So that's what I'm doing right now, okay? I'm, I'm doing six to eight weeks of high reps on every single exercise, every single muscle group, every single day. So I'm, I'm picking a weight that's relatively light, but I, can, I have to hit failure at 20 reps. And so, by the time I get to that 20th rep, I've had so much time under tension on that particular muscle that I'm experiencing a ton of lactic acid, okay? And that is incredibly painful. So if you saw a video of me, and we probably need to do this, this, this would be a good YouTube video of me doing these sets. I get to that 20th rep on whatever it is, whether it's a chest exercise, whether it's a leg, whether it's arm, and I finish that 20th rep and I'm in extreme pain. I mean, it is hurting bad, all right? That lactic acid is built up. I literally have to bend over, okay, and hold myself up on my knees because I'm just so exhausted. So if I'm doing sets like that, all right, high rep just to extreme exhaustion, a lot of pain involved, 
I don't need to do as many sets, all right, because it's a volume thing. Uh, your body can only handle so much volume and then it just starts to be diminishing return on your investment, all right, or on your pain and suffering. So when I'm doing sets like that, or if you're doing lots of drop sets, rest, pause sets, supersets, you don't need to do as many sets. So a lot of times when I'm working out with a buddy, I'll tell him, all right, well, we just did a drop set, all right, on whatever it was. And I said, I count that like a set and a half when I'm accumulating, you know, how much work I've done in that, in, in that workout. So if I've done six drop sets, that's really like doing nine regular sets. So that's a good way of thinking about that, guys. And then finally, guys, muscle group. Uh, I briefly touched on it earlier, but let's get into a little bit more detail now. So big muscles just literally require more sets to fatigue them. It's just as simple as that. Um, so when I'm doing legs, guys, typically, you know, when you're doing a leg exercise, you're involving multiple muscle groups. So you're getting your quads, your hams, your glutes, a lot of the times at the same time. So a squat is working all of those, all right? And those are big, strong muscles that just literally take longer. They take more volume, more time under tension before they really break down, okay? And guys, that's, that's one of the reasons why men hate doing legs, right? Because it takes a lot of effort, a lot of sets, a lot of reps, a lot of volume to really get a great workout for your legs, all right? Guys skip legs all the time and that's the reason why. So everybody likes to do chest or arms, relatively small muscles, guys. So guess what? They don't hurt as much. You don't have to do as many sets, all right? You don't have to do as many reps. You can keep that volume lower, all right? Everybody loves to get a good arm pump and walk out because you can do that in about 15 or 20 minutes, right? So guys, big muscle groups need more sets. Small muscle groups need fewer sets. Simple as that. So what is the secret answer to how many sets? Well, hopefully if you watch this whole video, you realize it's complicated. There is no simple, single, scientific answer, all right? Because studies have been done on all kinds of amounts of sets and reps and volume, and they all show different things. But it also depends on the guys they're studying, right? So if they were studying me versus some beginner, they're gonna get wildly different results even though we're doing the same workout style, all right? So guys, you need to take into consideration everything I've kind of mentioned today and then adjust it according to your particular fitness level. And then the other thing is, guys, everything works. Low volume, high volume, high number sets, low number sets, super sets, traditional sets, circuit training, anabolic style, it all works, all right? So the question is, What's the best? Well, there's, there's really no best. There is no perfect answer because everybody's so different. Everybody's genetics are different and your body adjusts to whatever you're doing. So if you start doing something, the same thing over and over and over for a long time, which is what I've done, all right, that's a mistake, you're gonna plateau. So that's why for six to eight weeks, I'm doing this crazy high rep count sets. And it sucks, guys, but I actually love it. I feel great when I'm walking out of the gym. I feel different than I did just about a month ago when I was doing the more traditional style. So guys, there is no perfect answer, but switch it up, change things up. And you're gonna learn when you experiment with this over the next few months, sometimes it's over a period of years, guys, you're gonna learn what works best for you because we're not all the same. Experiment with different techniques and don't just do it for a day or two or even a week or two. Give it a, at least a month, all right? Sometimes two or three months is a great length of time and then switch over and radically change up your workout style. And then you'll, you'll see that your body is gonna get confused by this back and forth and that's when your muscles really do start to respond much better than doing the same old thing day after day month after month it just doesn't work as good switch it up guys and you will absolutely love the results but guys remember i'm talking about a long period of time here this isn't going to happen over a period of days or weeks you have to stick with it and never give up on yourself